Rubrics are a great grading tool and you can create those in your resources. So I click on resources, click on add resources and add rubric. We want to give our rubric a title. So I'm going to do a constructed response and I just grabbed this from our DOE and if we hover we can see this plus so if I want more than four categories I can do that. Um, if I want less which is in this case I'm going to click on that and then I can change each of these. So I want to make this a two. And I've got the information I want on another um, page. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. And when I want another row, I'm just going to click plus criteria. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste from another document. Notice that it copied from the previous one. And so if you want it to be the same, then it's going to save you some work. And this is a rubric based on four. Now you'll notice here it says learn, add learning objectives. We've got some schools in the district that are standard based grading. And so they would, um, they have specific objectives um, for their building. And so they create standards based on those. And then they can pull those standards in here for their rubric. And then you're just gonna click create. So I can then add this to one of my courses. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the training course. And then I'm going to go into my training course. And when I add an assignment, when I do this where it says scale rubric, I can just go down and choose that constructed response and it will be used um, for that assignment. You can also pull it in for um, open-ended responses on assessments and test quizzes. When grading an assignment that has a rubric attached in the gradebook, if you click on the cell, then you can see the icon for the rubric. You just click on it, the rubric pops up. You can click on how many points they earned and then click save. If it's an assignment in which they upload something for you to grade, then from the page that I normally grade the assignment on, we can see that the rubric icon is here. We click on the rubric and we give them their points.